What is going on guys? Bo back with another two minute-ish knife review. This time on the Best Tech Kendo. Rocking that beautifully aggressive Tonto. Uh, this one happens to be in the tan handle G10. Um, and the dual tone finish uh, black wash-esque flats with the satin grind. Um, I don't know if it's on washers or uh, bearings, I can't remember, but it is smooth, man. If it's on washers, kudos to Best Tech. They got this one, they got the action on this really, really dialed in. Um, it is a 3.75 inch blade, um, so it's it's big. But it, it carries very well. Um, I, I think it's in part to that slender handle, but it doesn't feel like an overtly huge knife, but it, you know, it's not small by any means. Um, if you're looking for that Quaken style, you know, blade shape knife, um, pocket knife, this thing definitely will foot the bill. It's it's a good looking knife. I love that proprietary pivot. Thing is killer. Um, and even the, the little kind of milled portions on the handle go to add to the effect of the knife. It has almost a wood grain look to the G10 when you get it in this one at least. Um, just from the way they ground it, it is contoured. It's not just a couple slabs of G10 or milled on the sides just to round it off. It is truly contoured. Um, one nitpick, uh, well, there's a couple, there's two nitpicks, but one nitpick, um, it is only tip up right hand carry. Now, that doesn't affect me because I carry my knives tip up in right hand, but if you're a lefty or you prefer tip down, you're going to struggle with this one. The other nitpick, and this is what's going to make this go over two minutes on this review, and I don't know if you can see it there, and I'm not going to be able to get it, but that is the edge of the knife, if you can see it right there, and I didn't think that was going to be a big, as big of a problem as it was, but when I stuck my hand down in here to get a pin out of my pocket at work, there's the edge right there. I did end up taking a little, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not, but I did end up taking a little chunk. A uh, little slice out of my finger there um, so you do have to be careful if you've got that's me picking at the blade at the actual cutting edge of the knife so if you've got slender hands or slender fingers um, it is possible to get in there and cut yourself um, but other than that and the pocket clip you know being pretty stuck the way it is um, it's a phenomenal knife the action's great um, it is a bigger knife, so it can get some bigger chores, bigger cutting tasks done. The action's beautiful, um, and I think the look of the knife is just killer. So there's Bo's two-minute, now three-minute knife review. Thanks for watching, guys.